Welcome back to Pink Aura Tarot. My name is Z. Um, this is going to be a collective reading um, for today. So this is for all signs, but this video is also um, a giveaway video too. Well, I'm announcing a giveaway. So um, I just came up with the idea to give away a... Um, so I'll be picking two winners to receive... Um, personal yearly reading so this is going to be um it's going to be sent to you in a video format through your email um i'm going to pick two winners and to enter um into the giveaway you would have to purchase like a raffle ticket um which is only five dollars because it's a yearly reading i usually charge um i don't know if you guys remember but i had made like a little post about yearly readings um that were $55 they still are $55 if you still want to book one but um the time required to even do a reading like that is a lot so um you would have to purchase a raffle ticket which is only $5 um and I'm picking two winners so the way you can enter into that is to comment below your email so once I get your email, um, I will email you back a ticket, which is going to have a number on it. So keep up with the ticket because you won't know if you win, um, if you don't, you know, if you can't find the email or the ticket. So I would suggest you to hold on to that email so you can find out if you um, won or not. So the giveaway ends um, February. Well, actually, the giveaway ends January the 31st, which is next Friday. So you have up until um, next Friday to comment below your email address and also to purchase the raffle ticket, which is only $5. Then on February the 1st, which is the following day, I will announce the two winners and I will email them. Actually, I'll make a video. I'll just make a video um, announcing the two winners. So I think I covered everything. Oh, so if you want to purchase the raffle ticket, um, all you have to do is just look in the um, description box below. The two links for my cash app and my PayPal is in the description box below. And that is pretty much it. So let's get into, I hope, hopefully that made sense to everyone. I tried to write everything down because this is my first time doing like a little giveaway. So let's see um, what messages we get um, for the collective today. So you have up until next Friday, um, I would say like 12 o'clock before February the 1st. Don't try to enter into the giveaway at the last minute. So let's see what we have. What messages do we need to hear? Okay, so we have look for a sign, which is the first card. It's up to you. The situation will improve. So right off, um, for some of you guys, you're, maybe you're looking for a sign. Um, somebody's trying to figure out. Okay, so some of you guys could be trying to figure out what to let go of. This was at the bottom of the deck. Something told me to look down, but it was at the bottom of the deck. So some of you guys could be trying to figure out, okay. So some of you guys could be listening to your intuition or your, your intuition is like um, telling you to possibly possibly let go of something. For some of you guys, you could be just trying to figure out, like you're trying to look for a sign to figure out what to do about a situation. Let me pull one more card. Give me one more card. So we have be assertive. Hmm. And then a year from now, it's at the bottom of the deck. 
for some of y'all, you could be trying to, to, um, it's like somebody's trying to make a major, um, this seems like something big. Um, I'm going to pull some energy oracle cards for each card, um, that we have right here. So we have look for a sign. It's up to you. The situation will improve. Be assertive. So... With this right here, it's almost like somebody is trying to, um, this could be talking about anything since it's very general, but it's like someone's trying to make a decision about, um, uh, possibly bettering their situation. Cause right now the situation is, um, it's being left in your hands. So this could be talking about anything. So maybe you did get a sign or it's like you're waiting to, um, with this look for a sign. It's like, maybe you're trying to, um get confirmation about something so i'm going to pull some energy oracle cards for these cards that we have so somebody could be trying to um make a decision or they're trying to do something that will kind of like put them ahead like because with this a year from now it's like someone's thinking about a year from now So this could be somebody trying to find like a new career or I don't know. Um, let's see what we get. Give me one for look for a sign. For look for a sign what is that about okay angel of strength so it seems like somebody has been um possibly waiting for a sign um this angel of strength is card number 50 so this is all about like inner strength um i think it says personal power too yeah personal power and inner strength So somebody is definitely trying to change their situation. Um, this could be for someone who has Leo in their chart because it's angel of strength and then there's a lion right here. Give me one for it's up to you. Okay, so we have woman um, holding a coin. So, okay, so this could be somebody wanting to invest in something. Okay, so somebody could be trying to make a, um, a really big investment here. This could be about anything, but um, the coin is like something tangible. So somebody could be trying to make an investment that will um, better their situation or that will improve their situation. But whatever it is, it's like you're needing to be assertive about this. Um, give me one for the situation will improve. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, so we have community. So this could be about a family too. Um, we have community. Oh, so this could be, um, this could be for somebody who's trying to, um, you could be trying to move to like a better location. Like, um, like maybe you want to move to a better location or, um, for your kids, like maybe you want them to be in, like in a better school or something like that with this community and in, um, the situation will improve. But this could be talking about anything, but this community is like um, a body of people. Also to this community is like kindred uh, spirits also too. So this could be friends. 
this could also be family too. We have happy family at the bottom of the deck. But uh, for some people, you could be wanting to invest um, possibly like in a maybe a better home. Somebody could be trying to change your living situation. But it's like wherever you're trying to um, reloc relocate to or move to, it's like maybe you have to, um, maybe like the rent or something is higher than where you're, where you're at. Give me one for be assertive. Okay, two cards came out. Okay, so happy family came out again. So like I said, somebody could be wanting a new beginning also too uh, for their family. Because we have the sun card at the bottom of the deck. This is like new beginnings um, for someone. So like I said, somebody could be planning on this a year from now. Or it's like whatever you invest in. Whatever you're trying to um, make a decision about investing in. Maybe it's going to better your situation a year from now. Um, so we got happy family goddess of the moon. So whatever this decision is, would this be assertive? Um, whatever you're trying to decide on, it's like someone's using their intuition or you need to use your intuition. It could be, um, about your family. So let's see uh, what we get with the tarot. So. We got a year from now at the bottom of the deck and then we have reconsider. So somebody's reconsidering maybe about the situation that they're in now. I feel like this is like a living situation, but this could be anything. What is this angel of strength? Clarify angel of strength. Clarify Angel of Strength. So most definitely, um, so I feel like somebody's trying to end the situation. We got the death card at the bottom of the deck. Or someone's trying to maybe transform. Maybe um, you want to live like a, a completely different lifestyle. But somebody's doing this like for their family. Or it's like whatever you're about to do, um, maybe whatever direction you're trying to go in, or this new beginning. Um, it's like maybe you're going to be starting a family also too. But there's um, somebody's trying to overcome some kind of conflict right here. And it's like they're trying to figure out... Um, Somebody's trying to um, figure out how to get out of this situation. Clarify woman holding a coin. So we have the um the Empress card with this um a woman woman holding a coin. So this Empress card. So this could definitely be um about someone who has children because this empress card could be like a mother, a woman holding a coin. Um, whoever this is, it's like they're really abundant right here with this empress card and woman holding a coin. And then we have the high priestess card. So someone's definitely um using their intuition with this high priestess card. Um, for some of y'all, you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. So somebody could be wanting to, um, I feel like that woman holding a coin is like someone who wants to invest in something. Clarify community. Okay, so um, we have the four of pentacles right here for community. So I feel like this is like about a living situation with this community card. But this is like kindred spirits. Like just people coming together that are um, like of your highest good. So this could be like friends. 
um, co-workers, just people you get along with. Um, with the Four of Pentacles, I feel like this is like maybe somebody's trying to find like a stable um, group of people that they can be around with this Four of Pentacles and in the community. So it's like wherever or whatever situation um, you're in, maybe the people around you aren't really that stable or it's like somebody could be wanting to find like a whole new group of friends too. Because this happy family could be like a happy work family also too. Or um, just like a happy um, group of people that you, um, a happy group of friends also too that you call your family. Um, we have the Heyman at the bottom of the deck. Clarify happy family. Okay, so, okay, uh, we have the Four of Cups right here. So, I feel like this is for somebody who doesn't have friends. Maybe you want to build something somewhere else with this Three of Pentacles. And maybe um, you have set up some kind of boundaries with this Be Assertive. Maybe... Um, you set boundaries with people that you used to deal with. Maybe they don't want to deal with you anymore or something like that. Um, I'm going to see what this goddess of the moon is. It's like maybe somebody's intuition um, was telling them to uh, be more assertive. It's almost like whatever um, decision that you were making, making, maybe your friends or family didn't agree with it. Um, you know, maybe you had to set up some kind of boundaries with people. Clarify Goddess of the Moon. Okay, and it, guess what's at the bottom of the, of the deck? We have the Moon card right here. So maybe this was about a water sign with this King of Cups. This could also be someone's father right here too. And then this is like near um, Happy Family because Goddess of the Moon and Happy Family came out together. Um, so someone's making decisions based off their intuition, not their, um, and not um, with their emotions. So we have the Moon card at the bottom of the deck. Clarify this Five of Swords. This is definitely about a, some kind of living situation. Um, maybe there was like conflict going on. Um, we got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Right here. This could be about a marriage also too, but I hate to take it there. But this could be, um, this Four of Wands could be like a community also too. For some of you guys, it's like wherever you live at, maybe there's like a lot of conflict. Um, maybe for some of you guys, it could be like gang violence also too. And it's like someone's trying to look for a sign or it's like someone's looking for a way out. Like some kind of strategy with this five of swords, angel of strength. And it's like they need um, the strength to, to keep staying in this situation. So this could be a marriage. Um... Yeah, we got the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And then the Eight of Cups. The Seven of Cups. So it's like whatever this is. This um, this could be theft also. Like somebody could um, could have experienced like some kind of um, break-in. With the Seven of Swords. And then with it being at the bottom of the deck. And then the um, Four of Wands came out. It's like if you're in that type of living situation right now it's like you're gonna have a new beginning like you're gonna find um like a new place to live this could definitely be for like a for a mother someone who has children and they're thinking about their family in this current situation clarify the empress
yeah so we have the um this could definitely be about a marriage i had to take it there um we have the hair fine at the, car, at the bottom of the deck so this could be about a tourist but this could definitely be a marriage um we got the eight of swords right here The Hierophant and then the King of Swords. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so we got the Queen of Cups and we got the, the King of Cups too. That's a, that's a pair right there. Um... I really do feel like this is like for a mother. This queen of cups, it could be a water sign. It's like they want their situation to improve. Um, and with this, it's like they're thinking about their, their children, their kids, their family. So this could be about a married couple. But somebody's thinking more so about their kids, their family. They want them to be safe. Or they want them to be around more kindred spirits. With this community card. Or this is like letting you know that um, you're going to be in a better situation or a better neighborhood also too. We got the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Clarify this king of cups. So we have the knight of cups. So I feel like this is just about intuition um, with this Knight of Cups. I don't think this is like any type of like proposal um, or like a romantic gesture. It could be, but I feel like this is all about um, intuition right here with this. And then this um, Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It's like someone is really focused on... Um, changing their situation trying to make their situation their situation improve but i feel like there's like some kind of investment yeah so we have the six of cups at the um below the queen of swords so this six of cups could be like a um you know family kids um like having children um kids and just like a home like a um a peaceful home also too with the six of cups but i feel like someone's really focused on that because it's like wherever you live at now maybe there's like a lot of conflict going on like in the neighborhood or the community um and there could also be theft too so let's see what a year from now is clarify a year from now Okay, so my camera had cut off and I started talking and I didn't realize I wasn't recording. So I had clarified um, a year from now, the Six of Swords came out. So this is definitely, um, this could be for a mother. They're moving away from conflict. This could definitely be for someone who has a child with the Six of Swords. They're moving away from conflict. So this could be conflict within um, a community, a marriage, or... Um, you know their their current living situation so you could be moving away from this situation a year from now it doesn't even have to be a year from now it just could be sooner but i feel like this is like for a mother with children it's like you don't you feel trapped in your current situation so you could be moving to um for work you could find like a better work opportunity because we have the emperor card at the bottom of the deck yeah Maybe you, you're not really getting paid that much with the Seven of Pentacles. Or maybe you could be trying to invest in a new um, living situation that requires you to move or, um, you know, relocate. But we got the Sun card at the bottom of the deck of this Energy Oracle card. So your situation will be improving. You're going to get a new beginning um, or like a new... Um, living situation or moving to a better neighborhood clarify the six of swords yeah 
this could okay i hate saying that it's about marriage because i don't know nothing about people being married or nothing i don't know but we got the justice card at the bottom of the deck this five of wands came out clarifying the six of swords so somebody's definitely moving away from conflict right here and i feel like kids are involved here so yeah this could have been a marriage or a commitment that was a burden we got the um the judgment card somebody had to make a major decision yeah th this could definitely be about a divorce or something but it's like your situation is is going to improve so i'm going to leave the reader right here i might do another um reading because i know that's not going to be for everybody not everybody's married or dealing with this type of thing so i'm just going to leave the reading right here hopefully it resonated with someone feel free to leave a comment below give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell